Hey guys, Anthony 4 before Diesel here. We are with this uh, 2007 120 Prado 230k dead or pretty close to dead. Um, going to answer a few of the questions in the comments and I'm going to start it up and do a diagnostic. We're going to have a quick look, see if it blows any smoke, and also have a look at the diagnostic and answer some of those important questions. Which the first one was here, someone was sort of saying, Oh, you know, it could be leaking fuel in and that's why it's knocking and all that sort of thing uh, we hear you but uh, and appreciate the feedback but it's not going to be a case this time because if it was dropping a lot of fuel in there'd be a whole heap of uh, smoke pouring out the tailpipe here white smoke is in injector fuel what we're going to do now is start it up and all you see is barely a little bit of oil smoke and I'll explain that in a minute Okay, so the engine load, engine's cold, 33%. Let's have a look at the other readings quickly. And then explain everything. Have a look at this. The load, the injection volume, sorry. The injection volume up around 16. That's not actually that high, all being considered. But look, look at number one, number two. The injectors are off their heads, okay? Now, what's going on there? As I've tried to explain, I believe the, the problem's at number one. I could be wrong, but I believe the problem's at number one, and it's probably adding in more fuel to get the engine to turn, and therefore at number two, it's subtracting the fuel, okay? And then number three and four are sort of a little bit even. Uh, <clears throat> that's all I wanted to really show you and try and explain on the diagnostics. So, I'll get comfortable and we'll go through a few of the questions and answers and explain a few things. Okay, so one of the important things I suppose we should show you, the odometer reading. So it is 230k, just because, you know, I do make mistakes. You've seen it for yourself. Now, there's a couple of questions. I said, let's get comfortable. So I've released that video that was very popular yesterday. Another dead engine. Oh, sorry, what's it called? Another engine all but dead. So if you haven't seen that, watch that before you watch this so avoidable okay search any of those terms on a channel and you'll find it now first question why are there six thumbs down and he's got a picture of arms in the air top bloke that by the way yeah mate it's just all the haters and all the losers of the world and all we can really do is wish them all the best and ignore that okay that's what we do um it's the thumbs up we look at and we know the people that give the thumbs up, they've got things going good for them, and it's all good because that's what you do. It's a positive life. So, next question <clears throat> or statement, more to the point. We won't do the statements. We'll save the statements to last. Now, this is a question. I always hear people say the injectors need changing due to the poor seating, but is changing the seat washers only a good enough preventive measure rather than going the entire expensive new injectors as well? Well, it will prevent what's happened to this engine. So it's better than nothing is my answer. Better than nothing, okay? But the problem you got is the injectors, by the time the seats leak, that's when the injectors are old and flogged anyway. So they're not working right. It's well documented that injectors not working right. Wrong combustion is what cracks pistons. A statement. We're going to save this till last, but it's a short one. Your knowledge and advice saved my engine from going the same way on it with only 130k. That's important, guys, because only 130k, okay? It does happen. It is rare. This is why, within our workshop, I guarantee those seats won't leak for 120,000 k's. That's as far as I'm prepared to guarantee it. Now, I'm not here to tell you we're going to do them every 120, otherwise I'll tell you that and we'll just say we do them every 120 they'll probably last 200,000 Ks, but I'm gonna guarantee them for 120, I'm gonna guarantee my workmanship for 120, but if you want it to last longer than that, you need to follow all the advice in our videos, check the oil pickup, every oil change. If it's clear, then this most likely isn't gonna to happen to you if you're doing your oil changes every 5,000 and checking it. Now you don't need to do that all the time, it's more the 120,000 K onwards to be a 100% but of course, why wouldn't you do it every time? Because it's a free check. Look up through that oil hole. You don't pull the sump off. It's literally going to spend an extra 20 seconds on top of changing oil and quickly shine a light up there and go, yep, she's all good. And we will do a video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you subscribe because we'll get the sump off this. We'll show you the oil pickup. Look, 
don't think I just uh, take a assumption guess at what's wrong with these engines all the time. When you've been doing the same engines for years, you get to know pretty well what's going on. And I can make mistakes, but at this point, I'm pretty confident that's what's going on. Bottom end. Anyway, next. Thanks much, my friend, for the education. I watched the whole video to the end. I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, someone said, create a playlist just for this vehicle and all videos associated. Awesome idea, right? Absolutely awesome idea. So I did. I just did that. Right, so this is what it's called, right? So in our playlist, there's a whole heap of playlists there. If you want to learn about this problem, you search injector information. Well, you don't search it, you go find that playlist. There's only about 20 playlists or something at this stage. There'll be more later, but it's better than searching through hundreds and thousands of videos. They've been grouped for you under subheadings. Not every single video, there's stuff you might miss if you don't go and watch all the videos, but if you watch the playlists and all the videos in the playlist, list you're covering your most relevant or most important topic to you first. It's called 230,000K 2007 120 Prado dead. Okay? Now, back to C, cover a couple more questions. Pretty local to you, C and 20,000 Ks, no problem. Uh, hi, Anthony, cheers for another awesome video. Can you recommend a worship in Perth? I'm going to say it in the video. Greg, I'm sorry, man, you're going to get busy now. There's a guy by the name of Greg. Greg Adams, Automotive Services, he's in Balcutta. Don't swamp him with phone calls and crap. He's a busy guy, he's good at what he does, he loves Toyotas, and apparently, AKA God, okay? So yep, he's good, you know, one man band, one or two, you know, it's a small operation. Um, he's not there to just talk crap to you, whatever, he'll just, he's been around, I think he's about 60, okay? He's been doing this for about 40 years, he probably knows more than me, so. Um, but don't please don't waste his time guys, please. Anyway, there you go. There's the answer to that one. Someone says you are the best. Thank you, sir um, No, thanks for watching and like I said, please watch and share. We want to save this from happening to people uh, Next one. Hey great video. Would you reckon who uh, who would you recommend to do a service inject us on my 150 Prado in Perth? Same answer again. There you go. You get an answer in a video the next day. How's this for a series? It could be a, a video a day on this. No, it won't be but um, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, try and spec my oil pickup every service. Interested to see what the pickup looks like. You will see it if you stay tuned and it's good that you check it every service. Okay, this is the one. If this sound was developed instantane, I think he means instantaneously, this engine could have leaking injector at some degree, prior hydraulically block the piston, bottom end could be okay. Blah, blah, blah. You're right. So it could be a number of things. I, th I thought you were trying to say that there's an injector leaking and it's having a... Because it's not going to sort of start leaking and stop again usually. And these injectors usually don't leak. Um, but look, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Maybe another comment on this video. Bottom end could be the engine's not been running for a longer period. Anyway, oil analysis should be performed, should it? Okay, yep. Yeah. And anyway, we'll, we'll do a lot more checks yet, okay? So you're seeing it as it unfolds. Um, next question, any tips on where to get the injector job done right, Sunshine Coast, Queensland? Actually, that's on another video, is it? What? Hang on, yeah, hang on, no, that's on this. What, um, Sunshine Coast, not really, we haven't, this is the thing, guys, I, there's not that many people we can recommend, there's not that many people that can do things right, and that will put their hand up that they can do things right. As I keep saying in videos, if you're a workshop, or a one-man band, or someone that's got enough confidence that you can say, I can do these right. Please put your hand up, speak to me, make contact. Let's have a chat and let's see what you can do. See if you can help these people out. There's plenty of work available for people that can do the right job. Sunshine Coast, look, there's places you can go. Okay, you can go and see Tim in Gympie. I can't remember if he, the name of his workshop, but if you find all the mechanical workshops in Gympie and find a small one and the guy there by the name of Tim, so you know Anthony, the YouTube guy, he mentioned you on YouTube, so you must be, you know, you must have left some impression that's fairly positive. As far as I know, he still likes catch cans. So if that puts you off, you know, each to their own personal opinion, but once you fully understand the two systems, and I could be wrong about that, you know, that's someone told me, oh, you know, he's sort of, you know, it's not we disagree on catch cans. Well, we just disagree on, uh, well, you know, you, you know, you can have them if you want, right? But that doesn't mean he can't do good work and he's a good dude and whatever, right? It just means, you know, he doesn't mind the catch can, whatever, you know, each to their own. I don't care. I'll just give you the information. Next one. Um, look, you know, we're going on to different videos. So that's it, guys, on this one. That's where it's at. We've just plugged in the diagnostic. I'll just explain a little bit more. So those individual feedback readings, that's what they are. 
they show you individually on cylinder one, two, three, and four, where the fuel is being added or subtracted. So it doesn't give you a picture of the health of your injectors. So if you're looking at those and you go, oh, uh, mine are it's all zeros, these injectors are really good. No, not necessarily. If everything's happened evenly is all that's saying. It's all happened evenly, okay? If it's happened unevenly and you've got a real one particularly bad injector and one that's not too bad or it might not even mean the other one's not too bad. It just means they could be all really bad and one's really super duper bad. You know what I mean? Like completely flogged off its head. So if that's a situation you've got, then you're going to get messed up individual feedback readings. This is why it's the least important part of the picture. The most important part is the load and you need to know what the load is for your particular vehicle. So go and watch the diagnostics playlist to understand your vehicle whether it's a 150 Prada or a 120 early one, later one, whether it's a Hilux, whether it's a manual, whether it's an auto, you've got all those variables and it takes some time for me to tell you what they are. Maybe we'll try and do another video sometime in the near future. So I know you're already subscribed, all the smart people are. Don't worry about the people that give the thumbs down. They're just, wait, do you know why people would give a thumbs down? Wait, look, I'm asking at my nine year old. He's just here, he's rocked up on his scooter, Mitch. Why do you think someone might put a thumbs down on a really awesome video? So let me tell you something. Right? So we did a video yesterday on this car trying to help people. Okay, uh, It's had about 6,000 views in 21 hours. And there's about two or 300 thumbs up. right? So all the cool people that get it and all that, we're all together. And there's about seven people that did a thumbs down. Why do you think they might do that? So just tell them the truth. Speak up to them so they can hear one. Because you're ones. jealous? Because they're challenged, oh, maybe. What else? Just, they, I think maybe they've got problems in their life or something, do you reckon? Yeah. So, look, everybody, let's pray for them. Let's just hopefully uh, these people, things change for the better for them. What can we do? Uh, let's not hold it against them. They may, there may be other things in their lives that, uh, you know, may be having effect overall on their overall, you know, whatever. But, yeah, I don't understand. Maybe they meant, oh, Maybe they meant, oh, that's bad news, that engine's wrecked, or... So maybe they didn't, you know, I, I don't know. So I can't really fully answer the question, but I do try and understand these souls and what, what's going on there, and, you know, we all make mistakes, but hopefully on this video, they all come good and give us a thumbs up. Let's see what happens, and everybody else, give us an extra thumbs up, even if you don't normally, so that, you know, we get more of those going to offset those sour ones. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. More on this one will be in that other new playlist and more videos coming soon. Subscribe, bell on, thumbs up. Thank you. We're out of here. See ya.